I'm actually having to work three jobs, and my husband works three jobs as well, and we're still not able to get ahead. Back when I was a kid, my father worked, my mother stayed home, my father's income was enough for us as well. When I was growing up, it was achievable. The white picket fence, being able to own your own home. I feel like we can never catch up. It's like, you're stuck. You gotta get the millionaires and the billionaires in Washington to start worrying about the working class people. The, the biggest threat to us as a nation is income inequality. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, nearly one-third of working families don't earn enough to make ends meet. Most American workers are able to find jobs, but those jobs are often low-paying. The real problem is there's no middle class, right? So the, the gap between the have and have-nots is getting wider and wider. I believe this is the defining challenge of our time. And the thing is, income inequality affects everyone. It can actually hinder overall growth. That really? we have more inequality than any other advanced industrial country. And it's based very much, I think, on, uh, on educational differences. Education alone is so poor if you grow up in the inner city compared to the suburbs. Not true that education is equal in this country because there's still very intense segregation happening. When I say that out loud, 50% of inner city school kids do not graduate high school, that is a national catastrophe. The top 10 best paying college majors are all STEM fields and nine of the 10 are types of engineering. Innovations and creativity in science, engineering, technology, and math will be the drivers of tomorrow's economy. Jobs, 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 jobs. Jobs. If you are not a participant on that frontier, you will trail behind it and possibly get left behind in time. Low-income students are at a huge disadvantage. They don't have typing classes, let alone computer science classes. And if we really want our students to be ready for the 21st century, we have to be teaching them this content. Companies from Caterpillar to Google are on the hunt for engineers. With 9% unemployment and companies desperate to hire engineers, you'd think undergrads would be lining up to major in the sciences. Poverty, rejection, horrible education. That we have reached a tipping point here where there are so few people controlling so much wealth that everybody else is struggling to pay for education, for any kind of economic mobility, for job training, for changing jobs, anything like that. And the fear is, if you don't do something about it, it becomes permanent wolf and we have a world of a whole lot of have-nots and only a few haves.